Today I'm going to be playing with the best possible Chelsea team in FIFA 21 Foot Champions. FIFA 21 is here. Don't waste your money on FIFA points. Go to MMOPO.com and get cheap, fast and safe FIFA 21 coins. Use code OSNOS to get 8% off your order. Link in the description. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today we've got an interesting one. It's the first Foot Champs of the year and I've built myself a full best possible Chelsea team as I'm a Chelsea fan and we're gonna play with it in foot champs if you would like to see me play a full weekend league with this team not just one game let's get 100 likes and I'll do that it's a big ask I know but if you drop a like I'll go through the torturous event of using this team rather than my OP meta expensive team and it could be difficult and of course if you're new to the channel first time you're watching this face please make sure you press that subscribe button with the notification bell on we're trying to get 17,000 by the end of the year and it'd be massively appreciated if you could as you're watching this video let me know how your first foot champs is going or how it went let me know your record down below and i'll reply to every single comment anyway let's get into the team so up first in goal we have kepa arita balaga the guy that is controversial at the moment not the best for chelsea at all in a career low Nevertheless, he's the highest rated Chelsea keeper and probably the best Chelsea keeper in the game. So far, 82 rated. Actually a really well-rounded card, if I'm honest. And he's got four-star weak foot, which is great for if you're kicking around the back. So in general, quite a good card. And he's 6-1 as well. So very decent indeed. Now moving on to right back, we have Reese James. Now I could have, of course, had Aspel Equator. When I say best possible, I could have done the highest rating, which it basically is. But for certain positions, I'm doing the best possible in terms of the best in the game like the most meta so like the best possible team reese james i think in this game is better than aspel equator purely because he's pacey and he's strong i mean his strength is brilliant it should be more than 78 if i'm absolutely honest with you his pace is excellent he's gonna feel like a really good card in this game a bit like wamba saka in game i feel like um and he's got a nice cross on him which should be very nice indeed moving on to centre back with Fakayo Tomori 80 pace you love to see it four star weak foot again is brilliant medium medium I would have preferred medium high can't have everything he looks brilliant and the fact that he's quite expensive on the mark at the moment shows that he's quite an OP centre back good physical good defending and really pacey as I've said next up we have Thiago Silva ones to watch did the SBC of course um, not sure he's going to get many informs this year, but nevertheless, I thought I'd do it because I'm a Chelsea fan. Um, this card is going to be one of the weakest in the team, purely because he's got 59 pace as a centre-back, which is not what you want in FIFA. I've put a shadow on him, so his pace goes up to about 69-ish. But his defending is unbelievable, of course. He's an 85-rated centre-back. He's got unbelievable tackling, defence awareness, inception is brilliant. So hopefully, him and Tamori can work kind of as a thunder and lightning duo looks really good he's got leadership and power header next we've got a recent inform of ben chilwell high high which is interesting um, but i've got him to stay back anyway born for 13k looks like a really decent card and uh yeah good pace good enough defending a pretty bog standard but decent uh little inform there next we've got mateo kovacic chelsea's player of the year last year four star four star high high great defensive uh unbelievable dribbling good pace good passing it's really what you want from like a defensive box to box midfielder in this game absolutely perfect card i'm really looking forward to using and playing this card um and i think he should be really good alongside him in center midfield we have ingola kante i've played so many games with this guy incredible card one of the best midfielders in the game i'd recommend picking him up born for 312k i think he's up for a bit more now but yeah don't need to say much about this guy absolutely incredible card and one of the best midfielders and players in the game next in midfield we have mason mount my personal favorite player not gonna lie to you he is just I love the guy. Absolutely love the guy. High medium. I think you should have high high if you actually watch him in real life. Three star, four star isn't too bad. And overall, he just looks like a quite a good box to box in this game. His stamina should be way higher than 78. It should be about 99 considering he runs all the time. Just an all-round very solid card for Mason Mountain this year. Very all-rounded and should be a good um, box to box star midfielder as well in this team now moving into cam we have hakim ziech his ones to watch card five star skill moves which is lovely but the bad news is he has two star weak foot so we need to make sure everything's on his left foot high high isn't too ideal for a cam but 
well, nonetheless, we're going to work with it. He has been quite fun in some of the games that I've used him. I use him as a sub mostly. Now, moving on to the two strikers. The first striker, we're actually going to play uh, Kai Havertz up front. I was talking with a lot of different formations that we could have played with, but the one I've come up with is the best. This guy I've used so much. He's an incredible card. Um, him and the striker, who you probably guessed by now, unbelievable players love him a lot and his just left foot is unbelievable his presence is brilliant that's one of my favorite things about him his presence is fantastic four star four star brilliant card and last but not least we have timo Werner. timo the burner Werner wants to watch incredible incredible card um unreal just so pacey love this guy i had his normal card before his one watch came out and i had the most ridiculous record i bought this card as an investment for the entirety of the year he's it's an end game card for me 12 games 12 goals seven assists all in division two division one and one game in foot champs thus far nevertheless this is the team as you can see there we got some chelsea boys on the bench we've got victor moses bakioko zuma some decent little subs. A lot of this is first owner apart from uh, the front three, basically, and Chilwell. So, very decent there. This is the team. I basically play, like, all my front three up, stay forward. Um, and Mason Mount uh, is on balance. And then the rest of the team stay back. Quite counter-attacking with this team. Hopefully, we can do some damage with it. And, uh, yeah, I've played one foot champs game so far. And I won it comfortably. 4-0 rage quit at halftime. Now we're going to the second game. Hopefully, I don't lose my first foot champs game of the year with this team. But let's do it. Right, here is our opponent. It is a very, very solid OP La Liga team. Should be an interesting game. These teams can be a bit OP. So uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Feed it into the pocket. One of those. And one of those. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was a, a mental goal. A whippage from Havertz, a deflected post shot from Timo the Bernaverna, and then I oh no, and then Ziyech finishes it off. Oh, Thiago Silva's lack of pace. No. Oh, god damn it, he's taking it past the keeper. That is Thiago Silva's lack of pace. I told you during the school bill section, the one weakness in this team, sadly, is Thiago Silva, just due to the fact that his lack of pace means that he's not totally meta. So, uh, Jao Felix just ran past him with ease. Right, there we go. Half time, as you can see, possession, shots on target, shots, tackles, everything. I'm dominating. I just need to make sure I put my chances away in the attack and uh, make sure to allow that he doesn't get the counter against Thiago Silva. Let's go into the second half. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. What a ball. And what a goal. That is classic Timo Werner finding his way, getting behind the defence and dinking it into the back of the net. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No, in the 90th minute. Oh, he's got a jammy little through ball. And I think he's taking it to extra time. Oh, my God. How many times do I have to tackle him? I tackled him with Thiago Silva and for Kyo Tomori. And he somehow walks through and still scores. Different game, but the same just ridiculous stuff. Oh, he's bought a Bamiang on. Oh, I can't be arsed with this game. Like, what is the point? He just, he's bought loan a Bamiang on. Oh, he's, who brings loans on? Just get some coins, mate. What is wrong with you? Here we go. Oh, oh, of course. Right. He's also bought on Lone Cantona. How is chipping that broken? Mike, I know Kepa's a bad keeper, but he's nearly on his line. I haven't moved him out, and he's just allowed to chip it through. Oh, here we go. Brilliant. Well done, mate. I hope you're happy. With your two Lone players that you can't, you cheapskate, you've just got from the menus well done mate i really hope you're happy ea please please ban using lone players in foot champions literally i had the most comfortable 2-1 win in the palm of my hands and what do i do i bottle it concede a stupid last minute equalizer and then he brings on all the best players in the game on loan and he ends up smashing me because i'm on team press with my tired team because i have no useful subs on this chelsea team absolute disaster so as i said if you want me to play a full weekend league with this you've got to hit 100 likes subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys next time